Welcome to Wisdom. Chapter 1 General 1.1 Definitions Aerodrome A defined area on land or water, including any buildings, installations and equipment, intended to be used either wholly or in part for the arrival, departure and surface movement of aircraft. Aerodrome Beacon Aeronautical beacon used to indicate the location of an aerodrome from the air. Aerodrome Certificate a certificate issued by the appropriate authority under applicable regulations for the operation of an aerodrome. Aerodrome elevation. The elevation of the highest point of the landing area. Aerodrome identification sign. A sign placed on an aerodrome to aid in identifying the aerodrome from the air. Aerodrome reference point. The designated geographical location of an aerodrome. Aerodrome traffic density. 1. Light. 1 where the number of movements in the mean busy hour is not greater than 15 per runway or typically less than 20 total aerodrome movements. 1. Medium. 1. Where the number of movements in the mean busy hour is of the order of 16 to 25 per runway or typically between 20 to 35 total aerodrome movements. 1. Heavy. 1. Where the number of movements in the mean busy hour is of the order of 26 or more per runway or typically more than 35 total aerodrome movements. Aeronautical Beacon An aeronautical ground light visible at all azimuths, either continuously or intermittently, to designate a particular point on the surface of the Earth. Aeronautical Ground Light Any light specially provided as an aid to air navigation, other than a light displayed on an aircraft. Aeroplane Reference Field Length The minimum field length required for takeoff at maximum certificated takeoff mass, sea level, standard atmospheric conditions, Stellarin's Aero Runway Slope as shown in the appropriate aeroplane flight manual prescribed by the certificating authority or equivalent data from the aeroplane manufacturer. Field length means balanced field length for aeroplanes, if applicable, or takeoff distance in other cases. Aircraft classification number, ACN. A number expressing the relative effect of an aircraft on a pavement for a specified standard subgrade category. Aircraft stand. A designated area on an apron intended to be used for parking an aircraft. Apron. A defined area, on a land aerodrome, intended to accommodate aircraft for purposes of loading or unloading passengers, mail or cargo, fueling, parking or maintenance. Apron Management Service A service provided to regulate the activities and the movement of aircraft and vehicles on an apron. Arresting System A system designed to decelerate an airplane overrunning the runway. Autonomous Runway Incursion Warning System, Reeves. A system which provides autonomous detection of a potential incursion or of the occupancy of an active runway and a direct warning to a flight crew or a vehicle operator. Balked landing. A landing maneuver that is unexpectedly discontinued at any point below the obstacle clearance altitude slash height, OK slash H. Barrette. Three or more aeronautical ground lights closely spaced in a transverse line so that from a distance they appear as a short bar of light. Certified aerodrome. An aerodrome whose operator has been granted an aerodrome certificate. Clearway. A defined rectangular area on the ground or water under the control of the appropriate authority, selected or prepared as a suitable area over which an airplane may make a portion of its initial climb to a specified height. The icing slash anti-icing facility. A facility where frost, ice or snow is removed, the icing, from the aeroplane to provide clean surfaces, and or where clean surfaces of the aeroplane receive protection, anti-icing, against the formation of frost or ice and accumulation of snow or slush for a limited period of time. The icing slash anti-icing pad. An area comprising an inner area for the parking of an aeroplane to receive the icing slash anti-icing treatment and an outer area for the maneuvering of two or more mobile the icing slash anti-icing equipment. Declared distances. 1. Takeoff run available, TORA. The length of runway declared available and suitable for the ground run of an aeroplane taking off. 2. Takeoff distance available TORAR. 2. The length of the takeoff run available plus the length of the clearway, if provided. 3. Accelerate stop distance available, ASDA. 3. The length of the takeoff run available plus the length of the stopway, if provided. 4. Landing distance available, LDA. The length of runway which is declared available and suitable for the ground run of an airplane landing. Dependent parallel approaches. Simultaneous approaches to parallel or near parallel instrument runways where radar separation minima between aircraft on adjacent extended runway center lines are prescribed. Displaced threshold. A threshold not located at the extremity of a runway. 
foreign object debris, FOD. An inanimate object within the movement area which has no operational or aeronautical function and which has the potential to be a hazard to aircraft operations. Frangible object. An object of low mass designed to break, distort or yield on impact so as to present the minimum hazard to aircraft. Hazard beacon. An aeronautical beacon used to designate a danger to air navigation. Holding bay. A defined area where aircraft can be held, or bypassed, to facilitate efficient surface movement of aircraft. Hotspot. A location on an aerodrome movement area with a history or potential risk of collision or runway incursion, and where heightened attention by pilots slash drivers is necessary. Identification beacon. An aeronautical beacon emitting a coded signal by means of which a particular point of reference can be identified. Independent parallel approaches. Simultaneous approaches to parallel or near parallel instrument runways where radar separation minima between aircraft on adjacent extended runway center lines are not prescribed. Independent parallel departures. Simultaneous departures from parallel or near parallel instrument runways. Instrument runway. One of the following types of runways intended for the operation of aircraft using instrument approach procedures. 1. Non-precision approach runway. 1. A runway served by visual aids and non-visual aids intended for landing operations following an instrument approach operation type A under visibility not less than 1000 meters. 1. Precision approach runway. Category I. A runway served by visual aids and non-visual aids intended for landing operations following an instrument approach operation type B with a decision height, DH, not lower than 60 meters, 200 feet, and either a visibility not less than 800 meters or runway visual range not less than 550 meters. 1. Precision approach runway. Category 2. 1. A runway served by visual aids and non-visual aids intended for landing operations following an instrument approach operation type B with a decision height, DH, lower than 60 meters, 200 feet, but not lower than 30 meters, 100 feet, and a runway visual range not less than 300 meters. 1. Precision Approach Runway. Category 3. A runway served by visual aids and non-visual aids intended for landing operations following an instrument approach operation type B with a decision height, DH, lower than 30 meters, 100 feet, or no decision height and a runway visual range less than 300 meters, or no runway visual range limitations. Intermediate holding position. A designated position intended for traffic control at which taxiing aircraft and vehicles shall stop and hold until further cleared to proceed, when so instructed by the aerodrome control tower. Landing area. That part of a movement area intended for the landing or takeoff of aircraft. Landing direction indicator. A device to indicate visually the direction currently designated for landing and for takeoff. Laser beam critical flight zone, LCF said. Airspace in the proximity of an aerodrome but beyond the LFFZ where the irradiance is restricted to a level unlikely to cause glare effects. Laser beam free flight zone, LFF said. Airspace in the immediate proximity of the aerodrome where the irradiance is restricted to a level unlikely to cause any visual disruption. Laser beam sensitive flight zone, LSF said. Airspace outside, and not necessarily contiguous with, the LFFZ and LCFZ where the irradiance is restricted to a level unlikely to cause flash blindness or after image effects. Maneuvering area. That part of an aerodrome to be used for the takeoff, landing and taxiing of aircraft, excluding aprons. Marker. An object displayed above ground level in order to indicate an obstacle or delineate a boundary. Marking. A symbol or group of symbols displayed on the surface of the movement area in order to convey aeronautical information. Movement area. That part of an aerodrome to be used for the takeoff, landing and taxiing of aircraft, consisting of the maneuvering area and the aprons. Near parallel runways. Non-intersecting runways whose extended center lines have an angle of convergence slash divergence of 15 degrees or less. Non-instrument runway. A runway intended for the operation of aircraft using visual approach procedures or an instrument approach procedure to a point beyond which the approach may continue in visual meteorological conditions. Normal flight zone, NF said. Airspace not defined as LFF said, LCF said or LSF said but which must be protected from laser radiation capable of causing biological damage to the eye. Obstacle. All fixed, whether temporary or permanent, and mobile objects, or parts thereof, that, are located on an area intended for the surface movement of aircraft, or extend above a defined surface intended to protect aircraft in flight, or 1. 
stand outside those defined surfaces and that have been assessed as being a hazard to air navigation. Obstacle-free zone, OF said. The airspace above the inner approach surface, inner transitional surfaces, and balk landing surface and that portion of the strip bounded by these surfaces, which is not penetrated by any fixed obstacle other than a low mass and frangibly mounted one required for air navigation purposes. Outer main gear wheel span, ohms. The distance between the outside edges of the main gear wheels. Pavement classification number, PCN. A number expressing the bearing strength of the pavement for unrestricted operations. Pavement classification rating, PCR. A number expressing the bearing strength of a pavement. Primary runways. Runways used in preference to others whenever conditions permit. Protected flight zones. Airspace specifically designated to mitigate the hazardous effects of laser radiation. Road holding position. A designated position at which vehicles may be required to hold. Runway. A defined rectangular area on a land aerodrome prepared for the landing and takeoff of aircraft. Runway Condition Assessment Matrix, RCAM. A matrix allowing the assessment of the runway condition code, using associated procedures, from a set of observed runway surface conditions and pilot report of braking action. Runway Condition Code, RUIC. A number describing the runway surface condition to be used in the runway condition report. Runway Condition Report, RCR. A comprehensive standardized report relating to runway surface conditions and its effect on the aeroplane landing and takeoff performance. Runway End Safety Area RESA. An area symmetrical about the extended runway center line and adjacent to the end of the strip primarily intended to reduce the risk of damage to an aeroplane under shooting or overrunning the runway. Runway Guard Lights. A light system intended to caution pilots or vehicle drivers that they are about to enter an active runway. Runway Holding Position. A designated position intended to protect a runway, an obstacle limitation surface, or an ILS MLS critical slash sensitive area at which taxiing aircraft and vehicles shall stop and hold, unless otherwise authorized by the aerodrome control tower. Runway strip. A defined area including the runway and stopway, if provided, intended a, to reduce the risk of damage to aircraft running off a runway, and b, to protect aircraft flying over it during takeoff or landing operations. Runway surface conditions. A description of the conditions of the runway surface used in the runway condition report which establishes the basis for the determination of the runway condition code for aeroplane performance purposes. A. Dry runway. A runway is considered dry if its surface is free of visible moisture and not contaminated within the area intended to be used. B. Wet runway. The runway surface is covered by any visible dampness or water up to and including 3 mm deep within the intended area of use. E. Runway surface condition descriptors. One of the following elements on the surface of the runway. C. Slippery wet runway. A wet runway where the surface friction characteristics of a significant portion of the runway have been determined to be degraded. D. Contaminated runway. A runway is contaminated when a significant portion of the runway surface area, whether in isolated areas or not, within the length and width being used is covered by one or more of the substances listed in the runway surface condition descriptors. I. Compacted snow. Snow that has been compacted into a solid mass such that aeroplane tires, at operating pressures and loadings, will run on the surface without significant further compaction or rutting of the surface to dry snow. Snow from which a snowball cannot readily be made 3. Frost. Frost consists of ice crystals formed from airborne moisture on a surface whose temperature is below freezing. Frost differs from ice in that the frost crystals grow independently and therefore have a more granular texture. 4. Ice. Water that has frozen or compacted snow that has transitioned into ice, in cold and dry conditions. V. Slush. Snow that is so water saturated that water will drain from it when a handful is picked up or will splatter if stepped on forcefully. V. Standing water. Water of depth greater than 3 mm. 7. Wet ice. Ice with water on top of it or ice that is melting. 8. Wet snow. Snow that contains enough water content to be able to make a well compacted, solid snowball, but water will not squeeze out. Runway Turn Pad A defined area on a land aerodrome adjacent to a runway for the purpose of completing a 180 degree turn on a runway. Runway Visual Range RVR. The range over which the pilot of an aircraft on the center line of a runway can see the runway surface markings or the lights delineating the runway or identifying its center line. Safety Management System SMS. A systematic approach to managing safety including the necessary organizational structure, accountabilities, policies and procedures. Segregated Parallel Operations 
simultaneous operations on parallel or near parallel instrument runways in which one runway is used exclusively for approaches and the other runway is used exclusively for departures. Shoulder An area adjacent to the edge of a pavement so prepared as to provide a transition between the pavement and the adjacent surface. Sign A. Fixed message sign a sign presenting only one message. B. Variable message sign. A sign capable of presenting several predetermined messages or no message, as applicable. Signal area. An area on an aerodrome used for the display of ground signals. Stopway. A defined rectangular area on the ground at the end of takeoff run available prepared as a suitable area in which an aircraft can be stopped in the case of an abandoned takeoff. Switch over time, light. The time required for the actual intensity of a light measured in a given direction to fall from 50% and recover to 50% during a power supply changeover, when the light is being operated at intensities of 25% or above. Takeoff runway. A runway intended for takeoff only. Taxiway. A defined path on a land aerodrome established for the taxiing of aircraft and intended to provide a link between one part of the aerodrome and another, including a aircraft stand taxi lane. A portion of an apron designated as a taxiway and intended to provide access to aircraft stands only. B. Apron taxiway. A portion of a taxiway system located on an apron and intended to provide a through taxi route across the apron. C. Rapid exit taxiway. A taxiway connected to a runway at an acute angle and designed to allow landing aeroplanes to turn off at higher speeds than are achieved on other exit taxiways, thereby minimizing runway occupancy times. Taxiway intersection. A junction of two or more taxiways. Taxiway strip. An area including a taxiway intended to protect an aircraft operating on the taxiway and to reduce the risk of damage to an aircraft accidentally running off the taxiway. Threshold. The beginning of that portion of the runway usable for landing. Touchdown zone. The portion of a runway, beyond the threshold, where it is intended landing aeroplanes first contact the runway. Usability factor. The percentage of time during which the use of a runway or system of runways is not restricted because of the crosswind component. Thank you for watching.